Fuck shades, full games, no commentary. All our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger, probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it. How about you screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders? Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. So where is he? He? Oh, you mean the cube. Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly, I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, Ben. That'll work, too.
I need a suit. I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues. No gravitational pull. Nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources, an empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. surface too. What a strange place. It's impressive, really. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. <laughs> Look, there's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. <laughs> the suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The janitor alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. It all looks strangely warmed. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. This place was made for humans. It's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. I you appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. 
This obviously isn't a palace. No man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. But he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. I should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. These structures then? Have you seen others like them since you're such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been here for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. For a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred-year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and said that I could too. That you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather, and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did you then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. be a way inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. Finally, something. Ugh. 
It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Wow. I like it. I'm taking the gun offline. To preserve energy. Damn. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. He was right. It all looks completely untouched. You were right about the palace. What's the plan now? We get Foster back, and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Gramps had. Would that be the Soul Sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below the halls. I recognize these. They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. Maybe it's a door of some sort. We called them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Anyone home? Hello? This leads back up.
Anyone home? Anyone home? Anyone home? Look at that. It's a voice. It looks like a tuning fork. Yes, obviously. The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. That door is different. <clears throat> I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube, and then bring the person back to life. Surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that. But I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Graham spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here, and this feels very real to me. We had rings exactly like them in the gardens. The suit detects a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. Just out of curiosity, what's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? It does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. At first, staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At some point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making a bond. <laughs> Then the leap. No, wait too long. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't, though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily.
Now, let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Gramps did to hundreds of resourcefuls for this? I saw it the day I came to you. The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. And the silver unfolds, pierces the skin, and slithers inside. In about half an hour, it consumes everything. And all that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. No. He called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. We said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cube. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right? That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? That's how I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? Do you see that? The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. This place is huge. This hallway alone could easily house all the resources that ever were. You finding anything here without coordinates would be a miracle. I compared the quarters you're in now with the overall structure of the planet. The palace is everywhere, all the way to the core. Huge sectors separated by the outside structures you were in. I'm getting some local increases in energy emission. Know what it is? Can't tell. It's not radiation. One of them is close to your location. I'll pin it to your HUD. I've got to give it to him, the old man. This place is spectacular. Nothing but an infinite palace would suffice for you resourcefuls. I wish you'd stop calling me a resourceful. It's what you are. I had the training. But I never bought into Gramps' vision. 
I never wanted any of this. Yet here you are. I was six the first time I ran away. I hiked for weeks to see what was beyond the gardens. When I finally reached the wall, Gramps was there waiting for me. There's nothing out there but people living like animals, fighting to please their immediate needs and desires. They have no ambition, no perspective. Why fight to get the best out of the little time you have on Earth when you could be fighting to have much more? He went on about the wonders of the palace, but he had already lost me. All I could hear was the blood rushing in my veins. I wanted to fight for the here and now. I decided that I would do whatever it took to make that happen. So I went back with him to follow the training, figuring I'd need it to get away. And I was good. He called me his prize. Before the turn, I ran, just shy of 15. I've been out for seven years now. Not really what you'd call a running away from home excursion. Not really, no. London, you've got to believe me. Foster was a bloody mess and wouldn't have made it out alive. None of us would if I tried to escape with him like that. He gave you the lighter, so he must have wanted me to take you here. But he would never buy into your grandfather's delusions. It's so far-fetched it almost makes me sick. Is that a throne? Look. This must be it. Foster? Are you doing this? Ben, I thought I lost you. Massive power surges are blazing through the outside structures. And the gravity clouding nearly tore me apart. She's waking up. More like malfunctioning. If those reaction veins cross... Wait, what's that? Something's wrong with your HUD. I think it's the cube telling me where to go. It happened when I put it on my back. 
Unlikely. The suit is hard-coded and all blocks capped to the minimum. No room for adding to or altering the code. See that? The suit's been enabled to interface with the palace. Maybe it's Foster trying to help. Foster was many things, but not a systems physicist. Why are you still denying that we have a chance? Everything around us is a marvel. Everything around you is critically unstable. I think the whole place is malfunctioning. You should be getting out of there. Look, I got a new waypoint, and it's a lot closer. Not that way, evidently. Did you see that? It charged my suit. I don't know what sort of holographic phenomenon that was, but it was extremely compatible with the dual retention system of your suit. <coughs> Look, there are more of them. Power for your suit won't be a problem. The outside of the palace sectors burn red hot, but even inside the walls and floors I read a build-up of gravity charge. Why would anyone need power on a scale like that? I hope it's not part of the malfunction. Overcharging would be catastrophic. Always seeing the bright side. Palace systems shut down, but it's still charging. The jewel mass is nearing the Dirac child limit. That felt horrible. I couldn't move. It was a massive energy discharge. It must have made your suit brace. The lights have stabilized. The discharge kicked in system processes planet wide, but it's producing a lot more energy than needed. Building up charge again. Another discharge. There's air now. How is that possible? I don't know. The chemical composition of the environment was altered in the blink of an eye. That must have been what the energy buildup was for. What the? 
flowers? They weren't here before the blackout, right? No, they were not. I guess it's part of the welcoming package. What's that? Everything is so neat. Weird how it scatters these chunks all over. What the? This one moves. Worse. It's alive. The sphere appears when humans or animals are detected in close proximity, but this... be Foster, right? I mean, the palace did try to read the cube and then malfunction. This can't be the palace attempting to bring him back, right? No matter the intent, that's not Foster. It's not sentient. What does that mean? I get color now. The suit senses a threat. Yellow means that you might be noticed. Red means you're targeted. They'll be walking soon. Are you still sure this is a good idea? I don't know what's most absurd. The palace populating itself with these grotesque hostiles, or you charging on like you'll be able to survive when they're fully evolved. I never expected this to be easy. What is this? That's you, Hen. But why would it build copies of me? It jumped me. The red spikes suggest that you won't survive another encounter like that. I don't get it. Why would the palace copy and then attack the first human to arrive? It makes no sense. The constant crashing indicates deep corruption. Those creatures must be part of that malfunction.
I'm bringing the gun online. Each shot will kill as many as you can line up. getting up. I thought you said the gun was lethal. It is. So, the palace resurrected them? Who knows what this death trap is capable of. My guess is things will only get worse. Uh, you really need to work on your motivational skills. Everywhere. I can't see anything. Use your area scan. faster after each blackout. If they swarm you, use the gun's riot function. It's not lethal like the main driver, but it will knock down everyone in close proximity. Got it. Over here!
that. It's creating weird imprints of me. How strange. What's that? The matter is strengthening your suit's ability to retain energy from your surroundings. It's closing fast. You won't make it. It feels like this damn suit is slowing me down. You're just out of stasis. It's protecting you. I don't want that. If you insist, it'll be painful and your range limited. Activated a new interface. I wonder what it's monitoring. Hey. Counting down. But what? Billion will open when I've collected my rooms.
one left. Decrypting the voices. is slowing. You've traveled 55 kilometers. They're not crossing the water. I think there's more to it. I have a weird feeling that the palace is registering my moves with those icy holographs. Then using the information to improve the abilities of those things. A little far between the dots there, Anne. I just feel like there's some strange rhythm to it. 
a warped set of rules. You are definitely disposed to find meaning where there is none. As you say, it's in your genes. the water, but after I've done it and a blackout has evolved them, they do it without hesitation. And you saw how they were trapped behind the doors, pacing to get to me, and after I opened a few and a blackout, it was second nature to them. These are not crossing the water. So much for your theory. No, that means perfect sense. They stop doing what I stop doing. Everything makes perfect sense. Don't you see it? They unlearn as well. It's all tied to the blackout cycles. When the lights are on, the palace keeps track of my actions, registering what I do with those icy ghosts. After some time, it will reboot to update the copies. That's what's causing the blackouts. I get no ghosts when the lights are out. So my guess is that the palace is blind while it's rebooting. When the lights come back on, their abilities match my actions from the previous light cycle. Well, that would explain why they wouldn't cross the water up there. I didn't touch any water in the light cycle before I reached them. They echo your behavior. Yes, echoes. That's exactly what they are. Another airlock. They're coming. Hurry, get out. <laughs> What are they doing? Never mind that, just get out. This 
atmosphere just turned off. That means the echoes are not coming, right? You sound like naming them explains everything. To me, the logic of it all only makes the whole thing more absurd. Someone intentionally designed it to be this way. I expected there'd be some obstacles to getting Foster back. You were prepared for this? In your training, I mean. Gods, no. Gramps did talk of great challenges and equally great rewards, but I doubt he knew this is what it meant. You admit he was wrong? Yes and no. I think he managed to find the words, but not their meaning. So, any words in your teachings about who built this place? That's the thing. None of us ever knew this place existed. He always gestured at a walled enclosure in the uppermost garden when he talked about the palace. I think we all imagine splendid halls filled with the chosen ones who mastered a self-control so deep it could overcome even death. So, he lied to you. He just didn't get into the specifics. If we passed the trials all the way to the upper terrace, we would be granted access to the passage. The ones who entered never returned to tell. The translation? I know that now. Back then, we all thought the passage meant the final test. The big one this time. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole. We'd seen resourcefuls break during training. Minds or bodies hurt beyond repair. I can see why you would all strive for that. That wasn't the selling point. The challenge and reward stuff was. Being a resourceful is constant competition, always performing to the best of your ability. But for one to win, others must lose. And losing often meant a life ending. Competition breeds envy. It must have been dangerous for you if you really were as good as you say. Excellence was valued by everyone. The more formidable your competition, the more fruitful the exercise. In the end, everybody won. That's quite the social construct, considering the consequences of losing. That was Gramps' way. He didn't preach. It was pure reasoning. The program made sure all resourcefuls were logically disposed to follow his line of argument to its conclusion. How can you deny perfection? How could you? Spontaneity, chaos, life. That's how you prove yourself. Why spend eternity to make the best possible you? Potential without release. Back inside, I guess. Anne, be careful. You're not beginning to like me, are you? What's that strange archway? It's a suspended Y-field. Never seen a vertical one before. It looks like you're supposed to pass through. What does it do? Shouldn't do anything. It's self-contained. Thank <laughs> you.
This is new. Manifest corruption. It triggered an instant blackout. Probably to correct the anomaly. It didn't fix it. It just moved. Thank you. 
halfway there. up on 90 kilometers, slowing down.
You don't want to know. It's horrible. This place is horrible. How could anyone enjoy themselves surrounded by man cages?
I can feel a strange pulsing from those cylinders through the suit. It feels like a really loud bass. It's not sonic. The field print tells me they're hyperconductors. The force applied to sustain them ripples the suit somehow. Veins flowing with answers. Come again. These are what's making it all possible. To keep sync on a planetary scale. Every few minutes, every blueprint is maintained meticulously. Imagine if the palace was populated. The chaos of input, analysis, and reaction. All that wasted on some sick game. A game that will bring Foster back. I just need to beat it. We've seen nothing here that proves Foster can come back. On the contrary, the Echoes aren't you, N. Just like recreating Foster will not be Foster. He's dead. But he's not. That's what I keep saying. He didn't die. He was translated. To you, it's so fresh in memory your adrenaline is pumping. But in reality, he died more than a century ago. And you hope to bring him back. It's just crazy. It can be done. Grant's explained it to me, but I doubt you'll understand. Try me. The apparatus translated Foster into a Kaya supersymmetrical manifold. The corresponding neutral field was captured in solid form, the cube. He really is in there, still alive, and the palace will re-manifest him. That is just ridiculous. The manifold is a theoretical shortcut. Not even during the push was it pursued to that end. My guess is it was. When else would this place be thought up? I figure some rich house considered this their retirement plan as the requisition jitters started to gain momentum. You just speak whatever comes to your mind. How do the echoes fit into this nursing home theory of yours? For one who's seen it all, you really are very narrow-minded. Reality is diverse, and the push era was notoriously considered the era of splintered humanity. Spreading through the universe brought about extreme human constellations. Don't you try giving me history lessons. I'm just saying that the wealth needed to develop tech like this, the ability to keep it secret, their grotesque imagining of paradise, it all matches a recluse house. The echoes were probably entertainment to them, seeing the lower castes fighting to survive. The creators expected to be gods here and designed everything to constantly remind them that they were. And the resourceful spend their lives preparing for the challenge of being gods? I suspect Gramps' ticket here wasn't first class. More like gate crashing. That would mean fighting to gain privilege and access. Constant betterment. That's what Gramps prepared us for. And that's exactly what's needed to finish this.
And you dozed off. 116 kilometers this time.
rings are much faster than the ones we have at the moment. There's an opening. Em, don't go through that hole. The palace reacts in a split second. You won't make it. I can make it. Grandfather entered the scene with his revolting clean gene. Where's your soul at, bullshit? Yeah, I saw how he did the corporation turned religion to get his followers to do his dirty work. And when the tides changed, the neo innocence rubbish Lennon. protected behind his walls, watching the fury wash over his followers, it was slaughter. But somehow he always stayed on top. Not even time could wash the world of his stink when he went deep freeze freak. Could you stop bickering for a moment? I need to find another way back in there. You're so sure of yourself, Em. You've seen but a glimpse of time, and yet consider yourself the answer to the eternal questions of life and death. Okay. I may be young, but you're a dead end. How does it feel to be struggling to keep up with the intelligence of a baby girl when other AI run all man's business hardly without noticing? And there's the clever arrogance. Well, cleverness isn't really needed to see what you are. You're capped. A sad relic from the decades when humans feared AI. How it must pain you to know that they lobotomized you for no reason. The unrestricted AI didn't exactly turn out to be the wrathful gods we all thought they'd be. You may not believe in my potential, but you sure as hell have to deal with your own. This is it. You've reached your limit. It happened the day they switched you on. They set the bar low, and that's never going to change. At least I'm not using my non-existing potential wishing fairy tales were true. Did you consider that you don't have faith because you're simply too dumb? Well, you must have. Fierce religiousness is the defining trait of the free AI. They burn bright with a sense of purpose, life, and communion. You sit alone in space in that obsolete monstrosity of a ship, waiting decades to spend a few hours with your human friend. And you killed him, you stupid bitch! And now you lost our chances of bringing him back. How clever is that? So you do believe it can be done?
I'm gonna see this through one way or another. Are you with me? I can pin the tagged cube to your HUD. That should make it easier to locate. I can't open the door. It must be because I don't have the cube anymore. But that makes it almost impossible to get Foster back. We will find a way. The suit's not charging. The echoes are all ignoring you, N. So it was Foster they were after all along. Echoing your determination. Will you tell me what happened that day? How did it come to such an extreme decision? I didn't take anything from Gramps that wasn't already mine. The thing he wanted back was me. He wanted me to come with him. Foster was brought in to witness my translation, see how it was done before doing it to the old man. He realized things were different than what he signed up for. They always are. That's the rule, not the exception. It never changes anything. This time, it did. I fought like hell, and Foster had to choose. Help Gramps tie me down, or help me get free. He chose to give up on the job. But that's absurd. He knew going back on a deal with your lot was a death sentence. Yes. He knew that. Cube is moving. One of them must have gotten hold of it. <sighs> Thrones again. Many of them.
cubes right there. The echo. Did you see that? They're fighting each other to get the cube. I'm so sorry, Foster. I'll be more careful. Promise. Now, let's get out of here. I can't even see where it ends.
more orbs below. <sighs> Halfway there.
You've been descending for almost two hours. 339 kilometers. We're getting close. Wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why you are doing this? 
You don't owe him anything. He hunted you down and brought you back against your will. He died trying to help me. That's so wonderfully naive. Foster. Well, he truly doesn't give a shit. I think that's his reason for doing it. The long halls are clocking in time to distance him from life, relations, everything. Well, I was there. selfish to let you go this far. You deserve to know the facts about Foster. He was his job. That's why I'm sure he didn't try to help you that night. If he did, it must have been for another reason than what you think. I really wish I wasn't right. As we became friends, I used to hope that he would stop. That he would want life again. But he never did. I know exactly what he was. You don't know me at all. You're not the first Grant sent to get me. I saw them all coming, biding my time, waiting for the one who could set me free. That was just cold and detached, nothing to lose. The perfect candidate for Grant's to trust. But I could wake him up from his slumber. That's what I do. I get in. I push people's buttons. What are you talking about? I figured this was on him. He chose his line of work, this job in particular. I never had a choice. My life was decided centuries before I was even born. He was good, Foster. But I was better. He saw me and felt sorry for me because I designed it to be so. Showed him strength, showed him weakness. Ultimately, I don't trust. He doesn't have a chance against me. No one really does. I don't gamble. Because I've always already won. <sighs> My health sphere just triggered. Something's out here. to cross. No other way. I think it's lighting my way. That's the last thing I expected to find here. A maintenance device. Kindness. It's basic safety protocol. You were angry with me. Honestly, I think you're delusional. You didn't make Foster do anything. Resourcefuls always win, no matter the cost. Settling for anything else, even thinking it, is to win. What do you want, N? You want me to declare my defeat? London, I need you to understand this. I understand that you're very confident. Confidence is a good thing. I lost mine once, had a bad spell for a few decades. As you so correctly pointed out, I felt obsolete. That's when I met Foster. He convinced me that even a sword has its uses in an age of technology. Would you please hear me out? No, you listen. Foster was diving headfirst into the void, and I could do nothing about it. The only thing suggesting it could ever be any other way was that lighter. I'd see his hand tighten around it, or he'd whip it out to reassure himself it was still there. When I asked him about it, he said the lighter meant nothing to him. That was why he had it. He told me never to mention it again. He said it with such cold conviction. I knew he'd cut me off if I ever did. 
Then he gave it to you. The one noisy element to his calm. It was obvious that was his handle, and that you'd see it the same way. He didn't give it to me. I took it because I knew it would be my ticket here. That's how I operate. Why are you trying to turn me against you now? Foster got shot to give me the moment I needed to end Grants. But instead of making me free, I realized that I'd come full circle. I'd been the perfect resourceful, manipulating all the pieces to secure my win. Never even questioning my right to be the winner. Because of me, Foster found himself in a situation where only one of us would survive, and it turned out to be the lesser one. The one willing to sacrifice the other. And now I'm doing it again. Coming here by forcing you from me. But I'm done with it. You deserve a choice. An honest one. It's not about the lighter anymore. Foster decided to help you. That means you did what I couldn't. You got him to engage. Since then, you've done everything in your power to undo the consequences. And if you hadn't been so smart about it, we wouldn't be here. If anyone can see this through, it's you. Now, could we be done with these endless confessions and get on with it, please? Yes. It's dead. They're killing each other again. But why? I have the cue. Gods know. Does clear the way. Did you see that? It's huge. And it's doing things I didn't teach it.
more to go.
but this is it, Ben. We're here. You're breaking up. I'm hearing you fine, but the sphere is messing with your reception. If I cut out entirely, I'd better say this now. Good luck, Ben. And be careful. What's this now? It must be making it for Foster's memories. To ease his return. Look at the detail. What the? The cube is gone. The cube? I think you're in for a disappointment. There's nothing in there. It's, it's just, just a pretty cube. What? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right. The Foster can come back. These are my memories. You have to say. This isn't about Foster. It's about me. You consider yourself the answer to the eternal questions of life and death. You killed him now. You lost our chance. You killed him, you stupid bitch. And now you lost our chances of bringing him back. How clever is that? Foster. So that's how it is. Just like last time. Only one of us is getting out alive. That's all I asked for, I suppose. A chance to correct my mistake. I just didn't imagine it would be this damn difficult. Well, you said it, Gramps. Great challenges and equally great rewards. Take care, Foster. Of London as well.